how, how effective do you think uh, blocking the foreign accounts of the major plutocrats is going to be in terms of turning them against Putin? It's a very important question. I think it's going to be quite effective. So when U.S. introduced so-called Magnitsky Act in December, in November, December 2012, uh, that was a major blow to the regime. And it, it's not surprising that the regime reacted very rationally and very quickly with, a, with something completely uh, counterproductive. So government introduced an act which uh, prohibited Americans adopting Russian kids, Russian orphans. And in Russia, foreigners can only adopt kids that Russians don't want to adopt. And in most cases, Americans would adopt sick kids who, would, could, be, who could be nurtured to health only in a rich country. And so we actually have Russian kids dying because of that reaction. And that reaction was angry and knee-jerk exactly because Mr. Putin was very unhappy. If you actually look at Russian foreign policy doctrine, which is one of the decrees Mr. Putin signed on May 7, 2012, the day when he once again became a president. Uh, one of the items in the foreign policy doctrines uh, says, we don't want things like that to happen. We don't want unilateral violations of uh, economic and travel freedoms of, of Russian citizens. This is one of the major foreign policy goals of Russian Russian foreign, pol foreign, foreign service. Um, and in that sense, it will be a major blow. Now, in the last couple of years, Mr. Putin actually has forced and encouraged many of his friends to remove assets from abroad to Russia, to repatriate assets. But we know that many of them have not done that, and we know they will be quite unhappy about that. Uh, but will they uh, actually oppose Mr. Putin? That I don't think but they will be very unhappy. News reports today say that uh, Russia is preparing for the worst case in trade sanctions, that we're already starting to see European and U.S. banks cutting uh, bank lines to Russian companies, and they're setting up state guarantees for bank lines. Uh, my contacts in Russia appear to be cultivating Asian sources, looking to, uh, uh, what's, what's going on there, do you think? I think this is, this is what uh, Russia is thinking about. Uh, um, so if you actually uh, try to produce uh, uh, the uh, pecking, pecking order of sanctions, the less uh, painful ones are removing Russia from G8, OECD, not coming to G8 summit, turning it into G1 summit. Uh, this is something that Mr. Putin is unhappy about, but he doesn't care. Um, then uh, the uh, visa bans and asset freezes of uh, important members of the government, um, this is much more painful. Then the, what you just said, banks, uh, disconnecting Russia from international banking system, this is very painful. Um, but indeed, there are Asian banks, and uh, I'm sure Russia will move to the Asian banks and will try to do business with Asian banks. And then the uh, nuclear option is, well, unfortunately, it's no longer a, a, a joke, right? But we are talking about nuclear countries, uh, uh, talking about military actions. But the nuclear option is um, uh, an oil embargo, gas embargo, something like uh, uh, was imposed on Iran. Now, this is very hard for Europeans to do because Germany depends on Russian gas. And uh, this is, I think, Russia considers, but uh, is, not, is not too scared about. But if that happens, I think, unless uh, China or some other countries join this embargo, which is probably unlikely, Russia will still be able to sell uh, through other channels. And uh, that would be costly. Infrastructure is not there, but it is possible. So I think, I think it's not Iran-like san sanctions. It is, it is impossible exactly because Asia will not join those. Uh, in many European countries, the top companies have tens of percents of their business dependent on cooperation with Russian counterparts. So, in that sense, that would be very unpopular in Europe. Uh, in the uh, uh, discussions with, with Putin today, how that affects both the economy and the uh, uh, geopolitical calculus, heavy dependence on uh, oil and gas, both for the economy, but uh, as a lever in trying to uh, assert